My name is Estelle Cook. I would like to share a dream that God has gave me. On Monday, I had this profound dream. And in the dream was me and a few of my family members, we were walking. And as we walk, just all of a sudden, all of a sudden, we were caught up. I don't know if it was heaven or what, but you know what, it was so real. And what I've seen was, there was this man, a, a man, I don't know if it was God or what it was, but it was this huge, huge entity or human being, not human being, but the spirit. And this person was so huge and we were standing, not just me and the people um, that I was walking with, uh, it was me and it was in millions, trillions of people that were standing in front of this place. And this place is like, it looked like a palace. It was huge. It was huge and it was beautiful. As I was standing in front and these millions, trillions of people standing in front of this, this place called the palace. And this gate opened and this huge spirit, it came to us and it was standing in front of us. But everyone could see it and this i could see the, the 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 figure of the person and it had a cloak on but i couldn't see the face it was almost like a light that was shining and it was so bright that you it, it disguises the face completely as i'm standing there this person starts speaking and this person has so much authority in his voice if he speak, everyone listen. You know, there was so much power in the voice of this, this spirit. And when the, 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 this person opened his mouth, he said that I am the king of kings. And he was pointing out to people, calling people's names. And as he called people's names, some went in and some he showed him the other way and then he called my name and I was looking, I was confused, I was scared as well, I was nervous. This huge, huge person are calling my name and I walk and I walk and I was so nervous and you know as I'm standing in front of this person he said to me that how I loved, how I serve him and what I'm thinking and the way I'm serving him and he was actually judging me according to my lifestyle, the relationship I had with him. And he said to me, I must enter. But as I enter on the other side of this huge, huge, huge gate, and I'm standing there, um, I turn around and all of a sudden people went crazy. They start screaming, they, they, they panic, they, they scream, they cry, and they showing their hands like that as if they want to come in. and. Um, there were family members of me that I saw, especially my, my two my two kids, you know, they were standing there. I can still remember the shouting and the screaming of the people. It was so real. And my aunt was standing there and, and you know what? She's been serving God for many years and she's a very faithful servant of the Lord. And um, as this king called her name, she came forward. And he said so many things. She was judged according to her lifestyle and her relationship with the Lord. But you know what? She didn't get the chance to go in. And he said to her, she must go stand that side. As I was standing on the other side of the gate, my kids called out. My daughter and my son called out. You know what? It was so sad to see them panicking. Family members friends, people I thought that would enter the kingdom of heaven was outside. They were left behind. They were kids. I saw kids among these people, not small babies, but kids I saw 10, 11, 12, and they were panicking. And the parents panicked for the sake of the kids. They were shouting out. They were screaming. They were so scared. They wanted to come in. 
But this king who said he's the king, you know, God is love. But what I've seen in my dream was... It was completely different. I begged him to allow my two kids in, my daughter, my son. I said to him, you know what? If you are the king of kings and you have so much love and compassion in you, why don't you allow my kids, please give them a chance? And he said to me, no, you didn't see what I've seen. You didn't see what went on in their minds, what went on behind. Behind closed doors, you didn't see the lifestyle. I've seen many things. You know what? Sin is a big thing. We mustn't take it lightly. And I begged him and he said to me, no. All he said to me was, the time is up. It's over. It's over. There was, like I said, millions, trillions, billions of people standing outside, screaming to come in. And I was so nervous because this man is so stern. He's so stern. And he made up his mind. And he asked for, 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 for the soldiers that were standing. But you know what? There was a gate. But the gate is nothing like this in this world. It was huge. It was humongous. Huge, humongous is, is even an understatement. Because it was so, so big, big, big. It's nothing that no one has seen. And, you know, he asked the, the soldiers, they had, like, strange clothes on, and he asked them to, sh uh, to, 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 to close the gates. And as the gates, as they close the gates, and they close and they push and they push and they push, and they close the gates, you know, that those gates, it slams shut. It, it slams shut, but it's almost like it's, it's a lock. You can, uh, it's, it's a sound. It's, it, 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 it's a sound that I've never heard before. It went through my body as that, that gate closes, you know, and it slams shut. You couldn't hear, I couldn't hear a voice. No one, I couldn't hear anyone shouting, screaming. You couldn't hear anyone. And, and this person that said he's the king of kings, he turned around and he walked. And I turned around and I thought to myself, is this it? Is this it? Is, is, is this now even? It, what is going on? Uh, what are we going to do now? And as I walk behind him, he said to me, I must come. And I was walking. I was walking in a passage. But it's, 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 you know, it's big. I walk and this person had... That, that, that is the king of kings. He had a cloak on and he had a crown on and I walked behind him. But I was very disturbed in my spirit because my kids were left behind. My family were left behind, you know. People I knew were left behind. And I walk after this king and he said to me, as I walk, and I walk past a room, but the rooms, there were rooms in this place, but the rooms were so huge. It's big. Everything about this place is, is different. It's big. It's nothing. It's out of this world. It's nothing that you've ever seen. And I saw my grandma who raised me. My grandpa, I saw mommy was sitting in one of the rooms. And I was happy to see her. But you know what? I was also sad at the same time, and she looked at me and she smiled. And I was raised in a very spiritual house, you know, I was, I was brought up in a very spiritual house. I gave my life to Jesus at the age of 12 years old, and I've never ever um, had a dream like this before. And um, I walked past, I didn't even go in the room. Someone said to me that was in the place that each of us going to have a room. And I thought to myself, but, but there's so many people that were left behind. How come? Why don't they allow them to come in? There's so much place and room for everyone. So little people were allowed to come in this palace. The people that, that we thought that will enter the kingdom of heaven, they were not there. I will never ever forget the screams. Wow. I don't know about you, but listening to this very powerful testimony terrifies me. I just don't understand why people would want to go to hell. It's eternal punishment. Do you know what eternal punishment means? It means never ending. You'll be punished forever and ever and ever. 
day and night, night and day. There's no rest, no food, no water, no one to talk to. Death means you'll be alone for all eternity in a dark, smelly place. Being tortured for all eternity by Satan and the demons, you choose to follow instead of God. Just like how you want good things for your children, God also wants what's good for us because we are his children. We are his most precious creation. When your children do bad things, you correct them, right? Well, it's the same for God. When we do bad things, he corrects us. He disciplines us when we sin against him. You might not like his good morals, but he created them for our sake. The Bible is God's word. It guides us on how we should live our lives here on earth. My brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ died for our sins because he loves us and he doesn't want us to go to hell. Jesus says that he is the only way to heaven. There is no other way through none other religion. Christianity is not a religion, it is a relationship with God. You will have eternal life if you accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior today. Jesus also says that if we love him, we will keep his commandments. Know this because this is very important. Whatever path you choose, whether it's Jesus or Satan, know that once you die, there is no coming back from where you have chosen to go eternally. There's no coming back from it because once you're in hell, it is complete separation from God. No matter how much you cry out to him, no matter how much you say you're sorry, no matter how much you ask him to forgive you, he will not hear you. He will not listen to you because it is complete separation, complete separation from God. I pray that you will choose Jesus, choose life after death. Thank you for watching. Please share this video and may God bless you.